Ladies and gentlemen, the Newton Nomadic Theater presents Story Slam. One of the problems with these kind of stories is not to sound like you're bragging. So I just want to get this out right out front. I was the captain of the team which won the 1972 New England McDonald's All-American Hamburg Grill Team Competition. <laughs> this is how it came about. I was working in high school at the McDonald's on Huntington Avenue, right near Northeastern. They got out for the summer and I went to my manager, Spiro, and I said, Spiro, am I going to be able to get enough hours with the, the kids gone? Are you going to have enough? And he looked me in the eye and he said, Mike, I've had my eye on you as the grill man in the grill team, which I would have been more impressed if I knew what a grill team was. I found out that there was a competition between all the McDonald's stores. It was competitive grill teaming. And for those of you who are not familiar, there may be a few, it's a three-person team. There, and it was all, when I did it, I'm embarrassed to say this, it was all men, unfortunately. Uh, there was the bun man who toasted the buns to a perfect brown. There was the dress man, uh, ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions. At this level of competition, that was a two-handed endeavor. The ketchup dispenser, the pickle, the mustard, you know, like this, then the onions, and then the pickles perfectly. And then, and again, I don't want to sound braggadocious, but the grill man, everyone agreed, was the most important member of the team. And as the grill man, You'd put down 12 hamburgs, you'd wait exactly the right time, you'd put down 12 more, you'd turn the first 12, put down a third 12, you'd turn the second 12, put down a fourth 12, you'd then take the first 12 off, and by that time, a perfectly prepared 12 buns, perfectly dressed, would be, would be ready for you, and close them up. It was a thing of beauty when the team worked perfectly. It was like an Olympic bobsled. It was like a NASCAR pit crew just a thing of magic so we practiced like crazy we went to the district competition and we won in all honesty I have to say I felt that some of the teams of the district really didn't take it seriously enough <laughs> we then went to the Massachusetts competition and we won that also and that was an incredible upset because we were an urban McDonald's and in 1972 most of the McDonald's were still in the suburbs and Spiro was very sensitive to the fact that the McDonald's people kind of looked down on the urban stores. So for us to win the state competition, it was a big deal. Then we went to Burlington, Vermont for the New England competition. And when we got there, we realized that we were the outsiders. It was clear that most of the other teams and coaches all knew each other and were all talking to each other, and we were kind of over here. Nobody was talking to us. But we felt better when we found out that the judges were not from New England. Now, judging in Hamburger Grill Team competition is very important because a lot of people think it's just speed, but that's not true. There's also a style component. Uh, how well are the burgers, uh, are the buns uh, browned? How perfectly is the dressing placed? And most, imperfectly, most importantly, when that meat comes off the grill, not done too much, not done too little, put right in the middle of the patty. It's kind of like the scoring for Olympic uh, ice competitions. Same, same kind of concept. The judges for the regional were from New York City. And what impressed us quite a bit is they drove those judges up from New York City in the Ronald McDonald luxury tour bus, <laughs> which was parked outside the competition. That day, I would say we performed with panage. We were, we, were, we were on, we were hot, and we won the competition. It was, a, it was an incredible thing. Uh, we got $100 each as a prize. We got a plaque for the store. Uh, and after the competition was over, Spiro told us that we were going to get driven back to Boston in the Ronald McDonald Luxury Tour bus <laughs> with the judges from New York. Very exciting. The next day, Spiro tells us, now that we've won New England, we're going to nationals. <laughs> nationals that year was in New York City. We practiced like crazy for another month. It was now late in August. Uh, they drove us down to New York City in the Ronald McDonald luxury tour bus. 
Uh, we got to New York. There was a big convention center. They had grills set up all over the place. There were McDonald's people and teams from all over America. Uh, they set us up next to a team from New Jersey, and uh, I'm checking him out, and he's checking me out. He was a young Hispanic guy, and he reaches down, and he pulls out a suitcase, a little small suitcase, and he flicks two flicks, and he opens the cover, and he pulls out the handle to a spatula. He then takes out the blade to a spatula, and he turns it a few times, and he gives it a hit, and it goes click, and clicks into place. He had a customized, personal-made spatula. And I realized at that point that we were out of our league. This, this was, uh, we went out in the first round, and I can't complain. It was, it was fair. Uh, we got to spend a day of watching some real first-class hamburger grill team competition. Uh, at the end of the day, they drove us home in the Ronald McDonald bus. And, and, and to be truthful, there were some re recriminations and some regrets. Should we have practiced harder? Did we get too cocky? <laughs> but I finally consoled myself with the thought that no matter what happened, and no matter what had gone on, they couldn't take away the fact that for the rest of my life I could say I was the captain of the team which won the 1972 New England All-American McDonald's Hamburger Grill Team Competition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.